We're gonna start removing the engine now. We just have to remove the four bolts that hold the, uh, the engine down to the hole. There's one right there. So they're not, uh, not ideally placed, but we've gotten all the lines disconnected from this water box here. So here's, here's removal of this. So we got the got the engine out of it and we slid the, the the pump shaft out of it as well which is very similar to the uh the STX 1100s and all the uh I guess all the Kawasaki's for the last 25 years but that slides out so we're going to take the carrier bearing out of here slide it over the pump shaft and then insert it into the intake and then these, these lines here will end up sliding into the pump. And then we'll have a, a rough gauge for measurement so that we can start kind of getting a, a general idea of where the engine needs to go. So here's, uh, here's that. So it makes a whole lot more sense to put the uh, the motor mounts on before putting it in the boat. That was, uh, that was an oversight. Once the motor mounts are on, it should line up between these two chines, and then we can uh, we can drill and tap the chine for the, the two bolts. That They're gonna go right here on each motor mount. Got everything, uh, everything tossed in here and spaced out with like two by fours. But before we can get engine location figured out, we have to have the the uh, the pump shaft located correctly and made it to the pump that's on the other side of the uh, the intake. So we'll slide the uh, the engine forward. And uh, start working on that next. We now have the motor in, and uh, it's starting to look like it belongs in here. It took uh, took about 20 minutes to pull it out of the jet ski. With the help of the hoist, we were able to get it into uh, to the boat here. In about 10 minutes. The uh, the time lapse made it look pretty easy, but. Um, some one by or two by sixes were were perfect for spacing out the engine. We uh, we're just gonna have to build something similar for aluminum for the uh, aluminum standoffs that the motor mounts are gonna sit on. And the next thing I have to do is get the uh, the mini jet ink intake collar welded on here so that the carrier bearing can weld to the flange of the, uh, that's on this collar, on the intake snout. And once, uh, once that's in there, it's just gonna be a matter of getting the engine aligned to the pump shaft concentrically so that uh, there's no weird vibrations or we don't waste out any bearing surfaces. 
So, but while doing that, while putting the engine in here, there's a, there's a little line on the very bottom of this engine, right down, I can't really see it from there, but right there, that only uses a, a set of like little hose clamps that aren't, aren't the screw type and it knocked it off. So I drained all of the oil, which only had about 25 minutes on it into the bottom of the, the boat. So I gotta, I gotta pull all of that out of the boat with uh, this, this suction device thing that uh, is used for changing oil and jet skis. So here's that.